All right, so what I'm going to do here is show you how to find the mean and standard deviation of grouped data. Okay, a big misconception that people have is uh, grouped data versus regular data. So notice that we have here grouped data. There's two columns of stuff, right? You have savings here and you have frequencies here. This is not the data. That's a huge misconception. This is not the data. These are frequencies. 350, that's not, people don't save $350, right? Let's read this question again. Recently, a random sample of 13 to 18 year olds was asked, how much do you currently have in savings? People don't have 350 in savings. That's not the three, what 350 means, right? The data in this table represent the responses to the survey approximate the mean and standard deviation amount of savings. Got it. So the question is, we need to approximate the mean and standard deviation amount of savings. So the amounts of savings, we don't, they're between zero and 1400. Most people have between zero and 199. So we would expect that the mean would be somewhere down here, right? Somewhere in there, maybe 250 or something. We don't expect the mean amount of savings to be down here in the thousands, right? Because not a lot of people have $1,000 in savings. We expect about, what, 250 or something? That's our guess. So let's guess 250. Standard deviation, we don't know. We'll, we'll get that. So we're gonna just know that we have grouped data, okay? Just remember that. That's the key, because when you have grouped data, you have to find the midpoints, and there's a whole process of how you find the mean and standard deviation. Basically, the midpoints you put in L1, and the frequencies you put in L2, or a frequency list if you're using the wizard. Okay, frequency list, or just put it in L2. I'm not going to use the wizard right now, I'm just going to use... Uh, the basic one bar stats L1, L2. So I got to get the midpoints. How do you find the midpoints? You, the way you find the midpoints is you add consecutive lower class limits. Like 0 and 200 are the lower class limits. So 0 plus 200 is what? 200. And then you divide it by 2 and you get 100. So that's the first midpoint, 100. Next, you use these consecutive lower class limits for 200 plus 400, that's 600, divided by 2 is 300. Okay, so we're, we should see a pattern now. It seems like it's adding by, it's like odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, right? So 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. So those are the midpoints, right? Now I'm good to go. I got the midpoints right here, and I got the frequencies that I put in L2. And then I just do one bar stats L1, L2. And that's it. And, that'll, and then I also want to note that this is a sample. So I want to, instead of using mu and sigma, I'm going to use X bar and S for my mean and standard deviation. So I already put the data in to the calculator. In, so you go to edit and... L1 and L2, if you can see that. So L1 and L2, I have the data. L2, I have the frequencies. And then in L1, I have the midpoints. So then, so if you, so then I'm not using the, the wizard, so I'm just gonna go at this point. I'm gonna go to the home screen. I can press second mode, and that will take me back to the home screen. And then I just go to now stat calc one bar stats i'll put second one comma second two or however you do that on your calculator we just need to put the one bar stats l1 l2 press enter and we get our answer what is it 234 round it so pay attention to the rounding if you want to get it correct you have to round to whatever they ask you to round to so i'm going to put 231.62 for X bar and S. Notice that I'm using S. Do you guys see that? I'm using S right here. S instead of Sigma. I have S and Sigma. I want to use the right. Are they the same? No, you have two, they're a little bit different. 
S and sigma are a little bit different. One's for the sample, one's for the population. So make sure you know, you read the question and see, is this a population or is this a sample? I showed you that this was a what? Sample, right? Okay, we're done. That's how you find the mean and standard deviation of grouped data.